Another fun day. How are you, Rick? Good, good. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, little birdie told me, you, that you actually do stuff. We do. So I'm going to go back there. I'm going to drive to Kevin. Okay. And uh, bring what everyone's here. Sounds great. I think we got a car back there. You guys can put it on and... Free to run on the shop again? Free to run, the, run anywhere you want back there. Okay. You know what to take pictures of and what not to. Let's go. You heard it from this guy, so that means free run of uh, Geyser. There and, you go. Uh, we're going to show some some very new, new parts, first scene, and uh, thanks, Rick, for making these parts. No problem. Kevin's right around the corner there. He'll get you fixed up. Everyone, this is Kevin here at Geyser. How's and uh, well, what do you do here? I am our general manager and our engineer. I design parts with Sean. And he yeah. pencils things out. Puts them into here, sometimes into there, and uh, makes it a reality so you guys have some cool parts for your builds. So uh, uh, I want to see them. Right, I got to see them a couple weeks ago. Actually, it's been a little while, but now they're here. Yeah. So we're going to show you the ones that are coming. I got some cool stuff for you guys to see today. At utvsource.com. All right, so the factory radiator shroud comes with really thin plastic grommets, or the, and they're uh, very thin. The ones that we have here are much thicker durometer, and they mount to the actual uh, shroud brace, as well as the plastic, so it gives a nice sandwich so it doesn't crack the plastic off when you torque it down. So that's a common problem on the Can-Am, and, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate. When you're out there putting on your, your bulkhead or your bumper, and you go to put this on, I've done it myself, you'll put this on the other side. Mm -hmm. This always goes on the back side, but what happens is if you over tighten it, you break the plastic ear off because it's got a very small bushing and it's plastic holding and pushing up the load. Mm -hmm. So basically you've created, Geyser's created a cradle and it's it double shears and sandwiches everything, holding the load up. So for everyone that's done it, and, I, and a lot of people have done it, you, you break the plastic on these things. It's very hard to get OEM, mm -hmm. especially right now. So this is a great, great idea. Super affordable. What, what's what's the price? $64.95. $64.95. Do we know the price of one of these factories? I do not. But I know that they're dealing with back orders <laughs> and the price of them, it's probably better just to buy a brace that prevents it from happening in the future. It comes with all the hardware. And you're going, what are those bolts for? Well, on top of the two outside ears supporting the load or pulling up on the load here and here, what else does it do? Because I see two holes it here. It has two mounting holes here that seat in the middle and you drill through and hold it with a quarter 20 bolt. So it has extra support in the middle to keep it pulled all the way up so it doesn't sag. So you've got the button heads here and all the washers and the lock nuts and nylock lock nuts, which is great. And all the hardware comes in black? Yes, or in raw. Black or raw. So this is a uh, very affordable, very easy install part that's going to basically, in essence, hold the load and take the stress out of all the plastic junk <laughs> and keep it going on the trail, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's rad, dude. I really like this. It's ready to go, too. This is a new product, guys, and this is uh, basically your new coolant tank. So, this guy over here is fucking killing it. You got a lot to build. They look amazing. Nice job. <laughs> Seriously. So, I was telling them a little bit about the high frequency of welding on aluminum. Oh, I don't know what I'm 
settings I'm doing, but I'm just fucking with it. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Look at that. Aluminum is not easy, it's tricky. It's it's completely different than like any other process. Everything's reversed, basically. Yeah. Really nice. All right, well, I'm gonna go tell everyone about this. All right. Thank you. It's all for a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you think. So, we met the welder. We got to uh, tell him how rad this it's almost like jewelry. Mm -hmm. Super heavy duty. It's not plastic. What is it? How much is it? And why is it important? So this is a OEM res tank. It's an overflow tank that replaces it mounts in factory locations using riv nuts and self tappers. Okay. Um, it is full 5052 aluminum with uh, machine 6061 sight glass. So you can see where your fluid level's at. There is a max fill arrow where it needs to. And that's where the G logo's at. It is all internally, I'm gonna put this down, it is all internally baffled. Um, so it keeps the bleed pressure and everything, all the backflow into the motor and everything. So when you say baffled, out. inside there's baffling so that the, the liquid's not flopping and sloshing around creating bubbles exactly. in most cases and it can create as a As well as it doesn't cause a vacuum. Exactly. Correct. So that's super important. Like. You hear about that on fuel cells and racing and, and, and stuff like that because these cars take a tremendous amount of abuse. And speaking of that abuse, that's when the plastic overflow tank mm -hmm. breaks. And you may not know it, but some of, some of you guys are putting spare tires on the back of your car and you're sucking the tire forward into that box. And I've seen these lids break. And the OEM, it's backward. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna get one anytime soon. You're dead in the water, can't break this. Factory bolt in, beautiful welds. See what you're doing. It's killer, dude. So, everyone wants to know, how much is it? $2.99. $2.99. Mm -hmm. Made in the USA. And there will be black Cerakote. Cerakote, like a gun. Mm -hmm. Cerakote, like, yep. Right so. on, so, this is great. This is, this is the stuff everyone likes to see and more importantly this is stuff utvsource.com loves to sell mm -hmm. because it's new it's original and i believe you're the only one that has it yeah right? that's right now so that's two parts mm -hmm. so far there's one more yep, one more there's one more this is the one i'm excited about as well because this may not be in everyone's budget but it's still affordable but the next part we're going to show you it's pretty trick, and this is something they've been working on for a while, and I really appreciate the design of the next part, so. I know what's in this box. I'm excited about this part. I've seen it, what, a couple months ago, a month ago, mm -hmm. two months ago? Yeah. It's been a long time coming. Um, this is this is for everyone who has a Can-Am. And Kevin, I'm gonna let you open the box because this is your part. This is one of your, your babies. You got a sticker. What does it do? Oh, patent pending. Mm -hmm. It's like this, right? Yep. And that goes over. So what do you guys think this is? Any guesses? You know how you always have to replace your belt and the stock vehicle comes with like what? Was it 14, 15, 16 screws to take the cover off? Yep. And we try to get you guys to just sock it up and get the quick pin, quick release systems, mm -hmm. toolless. There's a problem with that. You still have to have a screwdriver yep. to take the clamp off the housing. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do that anymore. It's magnet, see that? It's pulling itself back onto each other. Yeah, very strong magnets. Bro. Like, that's not going anywhere. Self-indexing themselves. So. Yeah, self-indexing. So what he means by that, I'll let you explain it because this is your brainchild. This is your little baby. You can show them that. So there's a recessed seat in here and an extruded uh, boss on this side. So it automatically indexes to where the magnet's square. So there's never any pulling apart while you're riding. It has a very large pull to it, as you can see. So it always snaps right into place. Just so you guys know, it's not like it goes from design to a printing 
to a manufactured part without being tested. These have been tested on some pretty heavy duty race cars. Race cars. Mm -hmm. And those guys, you know, lack of a better term, I mean, they, like, they get down. They're hitting big bumps, taking it through conditions that normal riders would never yeah, see. 60% of any of us are never gonna see stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I know we you got some mounted on yep. some cars out there. I want to show you guys how simple it is and how clean it looks. Because not only does it like serve a huge function, because mm -hmm. a lot of us leave our tool bags. Yep. Or we loan them to a friend. We don't have it. So having the quick pin kit, and then you can't get this off, and then it's a mess. Yep. Um, this is rad. Before we go see it, mm -hmm. and if you guys don't know, magnets are not cheap, especially mm -hmm. a heavy duty magnet. And I learned that on what's that show called? How it's made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that show. What's the price on this? Uh, $249.95. And that's with everything. That's with the, the tube, fully assembled magnet assembly, and the hardware to mount it to the car. How much? $249.95. Okay, that's pretty legit. Mm -hmm. $250. Bucks. That's legit. So these ones utilize a different hose just because the intercooler and all of the duct work is much higher up than a stock car because it's a race car. But it still serves the same function. Magnets are there, in and out, snaps back down, seats into place, doesn't come undone. Pull it up, as simple as that. That's it. So in the amount of time we've shown you this part, we've talked about this part, and you forgot your tools and you don't have a quick pin kit and you don't have this, we've already changed the belt mm -hmm. with no tools, period. I mean, that's where this industry is going. Guys like this, companies like this, are creating insane parts that you can get at utvsource.com. And these are, these are very nice, very nice, man. Good job. You guys are killing it over here. I really appreciate you always allowing me to come in and, and see what's going on before everyone else. That's, uh, our customers appreciate that. Yep. So, no problem at all. UTVSource.com, this is the new Geyser patent pending magnetic quick release. All right, Greg. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Good seeing you. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right, everyone. So, uh, that's it. Showed you some new parts, a lot of new stuff coming. And uh, if you subscribe to the email list, you're gonna know about it first. Continue to follow us on YouTube at UTV Source Channel. A lot of great videos out there. And uh, our Instagram, our stories. Tag us in your videos, tag us in your posts. We wanna be a part of your adventures and we wanna put them out there for you too. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.